Blue, I believe, was the last one to go, which means it's what? the oh enemy's first turn. And you guys should have watched the recap video, so I'm not going to do a recap. Uh, can we... Is there a way to see the initiative rolls? Yeah, I'm going to do that or right like, now. Okay. Looks like I can't see anything. Um, I need to know how injured I'm going to be when it's my turn. <laughs> well, she rolls down one. Haha! <laughs> she turn, You see her turn, like viciously hiss at you as she swings, but uh, you manage to raise your shield and just block it and make it bounce off of your shield. I thought she it would take two me. Ones. Yeah, she did. Just that much of a boss. <laughs> okay, so first uh, first, first turn of the game and the enemy rolls two ones on Jax as she is looking um, a little more desperate, swinging like with wild abandon and you did just bounce off your shield. Oh, Jax just one. gives like a big flex. She gets one more attack actually. Oh no, I may have flexed too soon. There it is. Uh, does 19 hit? Yeah. Okay. So you take 8 damage plus 8. So you take total 16 damage. Oh, ow. I am going to use uh, Blight. It's a plus 8 to this roll. I oh guess boy. Um, this spell is extra effective against plants. Is she a uh, plant? She, yeah, she's not a plant. <laughs> I know, uh, but I'm gonna play that plant monster. Oh yeah! That's only 11, she takes full damage. Alright. Alright. So go ahead and roll damage. That's an 8d8, right? Let's go. Uh, I think so, yeah. Do it. A lot of 8s. Does that mean I roll 8d8s? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow, okay. Oh Ooh. my god. Nice. Hey Colin, can you pass me more bread? Yeah. Thank you. Bread. I reluctantly put out my hand to use um, Blight again. You guys have seen me use it a few times. But um, you can see, like, my hands are, like, looking a little black, blacker every time I do it. And I'm looking a little more scared and drained. And when I when I cast the spell, you can't see anything um, coming from, going from my hand to her, but you suddenly see her, like, almost, like, raising up and kind of turn, like, a dark purple for a minute. And uh, look really like uh, she's already pretty scary looking, but she she ends up looking even more horrifying uh, while blight is affecting her. Also, I'm not doing very well when I when I cast it. And uh, you see her form like wither and shrink as she like drops her weapon and raises her hands and her fingers hook into claws as she as she goes to scream, but like it, the air is pulled out of her lungs. She as she falls to her knees, just withering until her, her skin is tight around her bones and she falls over to one side. Dead. Hey! Whoa! You did a lot of damage. All right. Okay, then I, I quickly, like, uh, hide my hands under my armpits. Malgan takes a big old <laughs> collapse. Yeah, Lou is like, all right, uh, it's enough excitement for one lifetime. You want to head up to the top? Yeah, let's let's get out of here. I, I can't I can't be down here anymore. Do you really want to waste time? The other group's gonna win. We need to stop them. Like, cough yeah. up a little bit. We need to stop them. Stop them? <laughs> you need to stop yourself. I just start crawling towards, like, the direction we had been heading in. Like, <laughs> oh, prior. Malgan, we need to get out of here. This place is not safe. I don't know how much more of this we can take. Um... Imagine, like, a bunch of grunting noises and then, like, a subtitle sound that says inaudible. <laughs> <laughs> My vote is to go back up. I second that. But somebody should take a look at the corpse and see if they cool on it. Sure, I'll do that. Go ahead and roll investigation. Eight. <laughs> An eight? Yeah. Um, <laughs> she's got some... Her armor's really fucked up. It looks kind of... Has some otherworldly designs, but it's not really. Doesn't look anything more than, you know, plate armor you'd find in this realm. Okay, I cautiously go over to her and take a look at her as well. Go ahead and roll investigation. My ar- my hands are still in my armpits. Uh, I didn't see anything. Nope. I see a dead body. And, okay, <laughs> yeah, none of you are uh, seeing much on this uh, body. We had a hard time. You see, you, know, you go over to her and you see her kind of her guts hanging out a little bit from the sword wound she gave herself. 
all the other wounds that you all delivered to her. Her armor looking really messed up as well. She uh she looks pretty messed up and just like just a withered corpse. Oh uh nothing useful here. Alright. We need to heal you guys up. Yeah. I need a good rest and a good stiff drink. I agree. Go find our friend at the, the restful night. Yeah, I I definitely need something after this. Not, Not to correct you, Lou, but is it the responsible night? Yes. Melgan's like finally kind of stumbling back up on his feet, looks forward, and just turns around and is like, yes, fine. And just starts walking back with you guys. Have you not seen much battle, my friend? I thought you would be able to take more. Ooh. Now look, and just coughs up a little bit more blood and then just... Yeah, on to Jax's tunic. <laughs> yeah. Ophelia is just shiftily looking around as she's trying to walk out, out of the sewers. There's no more. Yes, I'm, I'm sure we're okay, but I'd feel better if we got out of here. Okay, so we check back the way we came. Ophelia, you suffer uh, five strength. Looks like Malgin and Ophelia are like really stressed out, not feeling too great. I thought this game was supposed to not be like real life. <laughs> not too bad. It's all right, a stiff drink and I'll be right as rain. Uh, but yeah, so you guys leave the, the sewers and you go back to the rest responsible night. Ophelia very quickly goes over to the bar to grab a drink. The, the bar lady kind of, after helping another customer, kind of comes up to the, the table and looks over all of you. He's like, oh, what, what happened to all of you? I need something strong now. Oh, all right. All right. Something very strong or? Very strong. All right. It's been a long day. How about the rest of you? Not what she's having. Give me the finest scone that you have in this place. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a Mormon. All right, of course. Do you want anything to drink? No. I'll take a nice hearty meal. All right, uh, will do. And then she rushes off to the back and allows you guys to take a seat and you can rest a little bit. That was everyone plan, feeling guys? after that big fight. Um, Ophelia just can't stop thinking about that image of that really scary lady that she saw when she casted Blight the first time. Or her head is in her hands and she is just very quiet and waiting for that drink. Uh, it was like, you guys are just, you're crazy, you know? I'm fine for just being support character, but the minute you guys die, I'm zapping out of there. <laughs> Jack says, we need to be more careful, but we also need to be quick. We can't let them beat us. Who is oh, damn. damn. They could be watching us right now. Yeah, Jack oh, like, looks to see if there's anybody watching us from the other group. Roll perception. Uh, 12. Why 12? Yep. I don't know if it matters, but can uh, Malgan assist with that roll? <clears throat> yeah, if you want to give advantage or do your own. Yeah. I guess I do my own. Well, I mean, you're a cleric, so your wisdom's probably higher. You should probably roll your own. I already did. I got a six. Oh, just six total? Yeah, I got a three plus three. Yeah, you, you guys do not see anything. Dang it. I was going to send them a stone. <laughs> <laughs> um, but after a little bit of time, uh, the lady from the back comes over to you guys and gives all, each of you what you wanted. Um, she gives Ophelia some... Moonshine. Yeah, moonshine. Um, who else wanted something stiff? Me. Uh, gives Jack Jax. moonshine as well. Uh, and gives Malgin a scone. That, it's not fresh. It's a little um, stale from being around all day, but it's still good. Uh, it's the same as you had the other day. It was, uh, what was it? Like a cinnamon or something? Cinnamon scone? Yeah. Um, I don't know. And she gives uh, Lou one of those... Um, Carrot soup. Mm, okay. She looks at all you and says, "Oh well, uh, enjoy. I, I, well, if you want to pay now or after you, after you eat, uh, whatever you want." Madam, Madam, um, I asked for the finest scone in this establishment. This is stale. I know my scones. This was out all day. That was well, all. All I ask ask this lady. She has done so much for us. Please just simmer down. Malgan relents and just kind of like places his head down on the table. He hasn't. He's not eating the scum. Lou Lou scoots his bowl of carrot soup over. You can dip it in here if you like. Of carrot soup? Yeah. Malgan like looks over at it and just kind of shrugs and does it. 
starts eating it. Yeah. Do you, are you guys gonna pay now or are you gonna pay after you eat? I'll I'll pay for the group. Okay, so In that case give me an AO please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, right away. Let's say four hundred silver. Alright, we're good. I pay four hundred silver. Alright. Yeah, uh, she gives you a nod says thank you. Enjoy enjoy your meal and hope hopefully you all feel better. Feeling better already. And then she goes back to her her front desk. How as you guys to eat? We still have rooms here, right? Yeah. Maybe if we're going to discuss any official business, we should all go into a room where we can't be seen. Also, do I have to roll for drunk? Huh. Yeah. Make a constitution saving throw. I can't roll the dice anymore. 19. Yeah, you're good. You're feeling fine. Sweet. Great. So what's your guys' plan? Probably sleep. sleep. Uh, you guys have a good meal and, t- and sleep some more safe. Everyone can move Jack- five stress. Jax is going to, like, bar the door so that <laughs> no intruders can get in. Melanin's going to be in the stone as per usual. If you sleep on the second floor, there's no stone. You're just going to go find a sidewalk somewhere? I think it might. <laughs> it feels safest in the stone. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and yeah. stone, you know what I'm saying? It honestly makes sense. As he goes outside, though, he does a perception check to see if anyone is watching him. 17. <laughs> <laughs> you see skulking around the corner. A robed figure, or a, a figure uh, wearing a hood and, and, and cowl. Now he freezes and stares at them. He, he then, like, he stares back at you for like a solid second, like equally frozen. And then he starts slowly walking over to him with a hand raised as if to say, don't run, just let me talk. Like kind of just like a peaceful acknowledgement. Roll charisma. Go wake up, Lou. <laughs> I like the strat, the uh, good idea. Well... 13 minus one. All right, well, he rolled a six, so he's going to look at you, kind of relax a little bit and let you approach. He remains you quiet as he gives you this, like, glare, like he clearly doesn't trust you. You there, friend, are, are you all right? I'm fine. How about you? Look pretty rough. Yes, yes, well, I have a question for you, my friend. What's that? What, what makes a man? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I understand the question, friend. It's a very simple question. I ask you, what makes a man? I'm scared. He takes a couple steps, like small steps away from you. You see, I was on the brink today, the very brink. And all I could think of was what has my life meant? Oh boy. Let me ask you, what has your life meant? I don't think I've gotten to the part of my life that will really define it yet. Because the way I see it, friend, I cast Thaumaturgy on myself, the can't hurt. Yeah. <laughs> you are following us for no reason! Leave us alone! And I'm like <laughs> screaming and trying to make everyone hear me. He turns around and then, the way. Uh, Malgan walks to the street corner and melts into the stone. Actually, no, Malgan doesn't <laughs> walk away. He melts into the stone where he stands. <laughs> Everybody, like the barkeeper lady and a couple others, like rush out to see what's going on. So, what? What's going on? I, just, I, I could just like turn to them and meld into it then. I, I don't say anything. <laughs> you just meld in the stone? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they, uh, they, they seem to kind of see, see that it's you and kind of just slowly back away and go back to the bar. <laughs> no. Lou, Lou hears that your voice is just like, <laughs> Melkin. Yeah. So the rest of you just go to sleep? Yep. Ophelia lays awake for a long time. Roll wisdom saving throw. You're a good fan. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, cool. Okay, the next day dawns. You all wake up. It is a terrible day out. It's raining, <laughs> pouring down rain. Not very fun. You all, yeah, you all just wake up to the just really loud uh, rain just striking the, the, the roof of thin really hard. But no, nothing adverse happens to any of you. You wake up, hey, okay. Y'all get a long rest. Yay! Woo. I'm healed. How much does the long rest reduce our stress again? Uh, I said negative five. Or, yeah, five, yeah, five. five. Okay, cool. So I assume y'all calm down to the inn, get some breakfast. Well, now we're getting a little wet because we had to get inside again, but... <laughs> That's true. Melgan's, like, a little soaked from just, like, even just, like, walking from the alley back to the inn. Like, yeah. he's drenched. He doesn't seem to mind, though. His mind's <laughs> elsewhere. I think we should go back into the dungeon what say you guys yes he's like 
staring away. Where's the barkeep? I am gonna need a drink if we're gonna do that. Yeah, do you go to the desk or do you call her over? Like... I wait to see if the guys are serious. You wait to see if the guys are serious? I am we're yeah. serious? Yeah, I'm, oh, more, dead I'm like, serious. Have, you're dead. Okay, cool. And I go over to the barkeeper and I, um, I ask for a beer. Uh, she, she disappears in the back for a second and comes back soon, quickly enough. And she looks at me and says, I'll be 20 shillings. Oh, I guess I should. Uh, are you just getting like one cup or are you getting like a pint? What's like the big cup that you see in movies? That's it. Okay, I'm getting a pint. Yeah, British pint. Okay, that's 20 shillings. Yes. Lou is going to have to borrow Ophelia's gym again. When he's a Ophelia, gym. like in the middle of starting to drink her pint, just kind of like tosses it at Lou. Says, have, have at it. Lou, he, Lou does that back in the room. Roll d20. Oh, Ooh, 18. Okay, you you put it down and it glows brightly and luminescently as a um, very well cooked turkey appears on your uh, table, wherever you have the gem. Um, it's not a big one, but it's like this pretty well well like fresh cooked full turkey. It's like hell yeah, hell's yeah. You just scurf, you just scurf it down. Uh, no, it's about half of it. One of the other people in the inn like walks by, and is like, hey. Where'd you get that? I brought it from home. <laughs> oh, it's, it smells great. Could I get some? Uh, yeah, I can give him a leg. Oh, mm-hmm. thanks. Good start to the day. Yeah, I guys. Walks off happy. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that dude's important later and he like... <laughs> <laughs> turkey leg guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're the guy who gave me a turkey leg. <laughs> Good head boss ends up not fighting us because it's that guy. <laughs> hey, that's the guy that fed me the other day. So what are you guys doing? Belgian's going down. Yeah, we're going. I'm, I'm going down too. Two say they're going down. What the hell are two doing? Going, going down to the sewers? Yeah. I mean, going down to town town. Yeah. Ew. We gotta oh, win. <laughs> Jax has his eyes on the prize. All right, well, I guess that's what we're doing today. All right, going back to the sewers. You guys go back to the same entrance and descend down it and you can see that little marker on the map, if that's you guys. Uh, you guys can tell me which way you want to move, and every three three rooms you move, I will roll for an encounter. Remember, you guys have the magic translocator that you've been using to kind of guide you. Ooh. Yeah. I say we stay away from all the interesting looking rooms. They're all sewers. You guys descend down the murky, into the murky oh. depths of the Wickshire sewers, into the constant dark dampness of this subterranean area but these um, tunnels that they, they're actually fairly large but they feel claustrophobic at the same time um, as there just is constant sounds of dripping water all over the place which direction would you like to move in anybody got a coin who's <laughs> got the pointer thingy oh yeah can we use the can you i, use can I pull that? do i have it do i pull it out do sure. it sure i have I pulled out. Let's go ahead and roll an Arcana check to see if you can okay. use it correctly. All right, a 10. You see the uh, mercury within the, like the spherical glass kind of bulbs and twists around and kind of wiggles all over the place, but it's generally directing you to go south. Okay, guys. Generally south. Yeah, this thing seems to be pulling us south. So let's go down. So on the map, there's no way to go, go directly down. You have to go to the right and then down. Okay. The right's where we went before, so yeah. I, I think that way should be safe. We were back at the same room where we were, right? You're back we're at back the entrance. The no. They're not the room that we fought the... No. Like, the, the room where you fought the thing was room 41. So it's oh, two, that's right two, there. Yeah, two room, rooms to your right. Um, well, we have to go down, so we'll have to go down, right, down, right? Yeah. We might as well just go back. I mean, do we know that the room? I guess we should know that the room goes down from there because we were in the room before. Yeah. Seems like we were heading in a direction last time. Uh, That's it didn't true. Turned out well for us, but we were we were heading that way at least. All right, let's go right then. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. So, you, are you going to room 49? Is that your three three room movements? Uh, yeah, yeah. So one person can go ahead and roll a d20. Switch my map service. I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling unlucky, so. Hmm? <laughs> We're back in the sewers, right? Was that 15? Yeah, 15. Uh, that is not. Nothing. 
happens. Yes! You guys walk through the sewers, and it is this consistent eerie silence, other than the, you know, mild... Actually, not mild, because it's a rainy day, so, like, the the water in the canals are rushing pretty strongly right now. You look down at it, and you really, you think to yourselves that you really don't want to get caught in that water today. Is there anything interesting in this room? Go ahead and make a perception check, or investigation, I should say. Let's see. That's not going to be good. Six. My perception was better. Because <laughs> it's wisdom. Uh, this room is, is fairly featureless. It seems like a, a connecting room from one place to another. And now again, roll for perception at disadvantage. Perception at disadvantage, sure. He's very, like, nonchalant. He's, like, got no spirit in him right now, so he's just kind of like, yeah, looking around. First roll is a 15. Second roll is a 7. Yeah, you look around, it's pretty featureless down here. You, you guys don't even see, like, anything that would even relate to the Hellhounds either. It's, it seems like this room is fairly untouched. We continue. I just I start leading away from here. Although I guess we need to know which room we're going to then. But. Uh, should we check the thing again? Yeah. Yeah. You guys want to? Yeah. Go ahead and roll. Someone can roll another Arcana check. Better than last time. Yeah, you see the, the mercury inside the, 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 the sphere kind of bubbles, kind of tries to turn into like a pointy needle to kind of show you where to go but it doesn't really take on full form. It kind of just generally points you south again. All right, we'll start, we're still going down, guys. Let's do or it. How? So you step into room 55? Yep. You guys step in and you find a, what looks like the, to be like the remains of an altar. It looks very broken. And you see like on the base of the sculpture, you just see like written in with a knife or something, just scratched in. Sharpen thy spear and ready thy shield. Sounds like we should be ready for a fight. Nice. Build these sewers, then just leave them for monsters. Noggin does a religion check on that. 16. You would know that there is like a lot of pagan uh, religions, you know, in Breton, uh, in the area for a long time, even leading up to kind of more of the modern era with uh, the current uh, Duke of Wickshire kind of ruin over everything. It was really like the current Duke that made the Gothic religion like the only religion in Wickshire. Before that, it was kind of a melting pot of a, of a couple of uh, older ones. But you look at this and you think it might be kind of like a leftover of a long ago worshipped god that maybe, you know, they brought it down here to worship in secret, maybe. Yeah, heretics. He just gives him a funky look. Jax readies his sword and shield. All right. And then um, ready to move on. Can I do like investigation or perception? Yeah. What are you trying to find? I want to look at the altar, like the messed up altar, just see if there's anything up with it. Um, I mean, what specifically are you trying to see what's wrong with it? Like, if I know anything about it, like just to give me clues about if there's like maybe something up ahead. Roll investigation. Uh, you look it over, and it, it's like pretty gnarled and scratched up. It looks like the Hellhounds have been using this as a toy uh, to keep their their claws sharp and teeth teeth uh, sharp as well. You see like bits and bits and pieces of it are melted, but then you see some some bits are are like have ice on it, where others are just covered in this green ichor. Get a little bit on your fingertips and kind of burns to the touch. Ew. Ichor. Ichor. Did you say ichor? Yeah, ichor. Ichor. That's icky. <laughs> Would I know what Iker is related to? Iker is like a, a syrup type substance. It, it's usually like more organic. Gross. Oh, okay. All right. So I don't really find anything that makes me worried about the next room. Um, would you roll 18? Uh, I mean, this kind of indicates that there might be some elemental shit going on. Like you guys have fought hellhounds in the past and they were fire hellhounds and you're able to use water to your advantage. But that might not be the same case going forward. Hey guys, there's some ichor on this uh, <laughs> altar. <laughs> hey guys, look at this ichor. <laughs> Just uh, let's be prepared for uh, for something up ahead. Icky ichor. Yep, icky ichor. I guess let's keep moving south then. Okay. All right. Which room do you guys move in? Do you want to go right and down, or do you want to just go down into room 66? Mm, I don't like all those sixes. <laughs> <laughs> Execute room 66. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we avoid. I think we avoid room 66. I don't trust the dungeon that's, master. That's one extra move for encounters. Hmm. Don't like encounters. They scare me. We're gonna just go to 61 to 74. Okay. 
Uh, as you guys walk in, everyone roll a constitution save. Great. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> kind of fits, because I'm so paranoid right now. Colin got a 16. Malvin got a 16. So, Jax and Ophelia take half damage. Lou and Malgan take full. I rolled a 22 and I get half damage? Yeah. What is this? Uh, full damage is 24. Oh. oh. What was it, though? You guys walk what in and you see at the last possible moment, you see a sigil like glow bright and a, and a force of, of lightning burst out, striking all of you. You guys didn't check. Who the puts this in a sewer? <laughs> <laughs> the mouse Alrighty, we're checking for traps from now on. <laughs> the mouse trap. Hell of a mouse. <laughs> so, uh, Ophelia and Jax take half, so they take 12. That's nothing. I'm assuming. Lou and I are on the ground from that. Either way, Malgan just runs. Should we take a short rest? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys don't take, you guys aren't knocked prone, um, but you, you all suffer five stress from tripping trap. Oh boy. Are we, are we gonna take a short rest? Okay, full health again. Jesus, I probably shouldn't have used as many hit dice as I did use that. I used four on my three left now. Um, and then are you guys going to do want to drink any alcohol? Did you feel a stress or anything? Valgate mm. under over his scone recipe. Does that remove any stress? <laughs> <laughs> I, I found it. Does. Right. Oh, damn. But he ponders over it, that right? First. That's what you said? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it does. What? what? Um, <laughs> but there is a, I think I shared this under stress. Um, clerics uh, can give a calming prayer to re- reduce a party's stress by two. Uh, those who dislike or have a disdain for their god will gain no benefits from the prayer. Uh, but if you do that, it'll give plus two to do an encounter roll. You cleric? Do an encounter roll, and in that we will be so, more likely to. Yeah. So if, when I roll for an encounter, I'll add to it to make it. It'll probably it'll make it more likely to have an encounter. Okay. No, he doesn't do that. Um, bards, bards can use their calming melodies to help the entire party relax using this ability. Increases the party stress by two, but increases the likelihood of being noticed. Same thing, but bards can play a song to reduce stress. All of you have like ability to reduce the minor amount of stress, but it increases um, the possibility of getting attacked. I don't want to get attacked. Anyways, here's Wonderwall. Wonderwall. Set baby. Gonna be the one that saves me. Actually, I think Jax is gonna have a beer. All right, go for it and make a Constitution save. Okay. Here. Oh, that doesn't have any consequences. <laughs> Why is Hannah making a constitution save? I thought you said Hannah take a constant. Okay, I misheard. No. Who's reason? Um, 24, yeah, you're good. You, you, you know, take one from out of your backpack and down it. And, um, just doesn't affect you at all. Just wipe the, the extra bits from your, from your face and you're good. How much stress do I, do we, do I lose from um, that? Um, it is, you lose five. Okay, and then do we lose any stress from the short rest, or is it just nothing? No, that's because you use your like class abilities or items yeah. you take with you to reduce stress. Uh, nothing, nothing comes by. Not, you guys are undisturbed as you rest, uh, as you then pick up your backpacks once more and get back to it. Uh, should we head down or should we check again? Uh, we should probably start checking our uh, each room before we walk in. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I can check Good for point. traps. You guys check the thingy. 22, yeah. You uh, take it and nice. it immediately forms into like this very solid needle that points southwest. Okay, guys, so it's pointing southwest. So we want to kind of go into a down into the right motion. Down to the west is the other way. West is left. Huh? West is left? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I, I was picturing us facing down. I thought you meant west. Dax is going to check for traps. All right, roll investigation. Who is going to let Jack check for traps? You don't see any obvious traps, but you do like the whole hallway. Because you guys are going to room 73, right? I think so. If we have to. <laughs> well, the hallway from 61 to 73, there's a series of small holes into built into the walls. That looks like a trap. Boiling acid comes out of the holes. Rabbit mice rats. Maybe we should check it. Go ahead and look down the hole. No. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna throw a rock at it. You just throw a rock, roll of rock into the hallway? Yes. You throw it, kind of clatters, skips a few times, then settles undisturbed. 
Hmm. Who throws Ophelia at them? No, no, <laughs> no. Ophelia slaps Lou away. It's very easy because he's so small. I mean, I don't know if he'd be able to pick her up anyways. <laughs> What's your strength? Negative one, and plus she's like a good five feet taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just go limp. I just kind of give him like a little like shoe away, little slap, like go away. Nah. 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 <laughs> this seems dangerous, but I can't tell how to set it off. Ladies first. Malgan's first. Malgan's good. Malgan steps in. How are you stepping in? Can't you make yourself stone or something? Like really hard? I can build <laughs> yeah, I mean that would probably work. <laughs> yeah, no, but I I can't move when I'm when I'm stone, so oh. I have to come out at the same point that I went in. I can I can manipulate stone, but I feel like at this point I'd be retconning anyway, and I kind of don't want to stone spell. So yeah, how do you step in? Is it are you stepping timidly or are you just running in? Walking in very confidently, maybe boldly. Maybe with Hubert, but you, you, going you, boldly where no dwarf has gone before. With lots of confidence, chest puffed out as you walk in and nothing happens. Are you dead? Jax is gonna do the same with confidence. Not yet, my friend, not yet. Yeah, you both walk in and you both are unharmed. Who lets Ophelia go in? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Ophelia cautiously walks forward. Ophelia's fine. I'm gonna lose my shit if this thing tracks three people walking in, or yeah, three people walking in and then sets off. <laughs> There's no way the technology is that. <laughs> so, right? Blue, Jimmy's in. He goes in? Crab walks. Yeah. The hallway explodes. Damn it. What? Do it. No. Because <laughs> they're oh. <guys> fine. <laughs> no way. Lou steps on each individual stone the same as Ophelia. <laughs> All right. I was, I was just thinking maybe it is like a rat trap and it's like Lou's weight is smaller than a human's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys walk in. The hallway seems to be a-okay. Woo! You guys proceed to room 73. Where we find... Uh, yeah, uh, you guys walk in and you find a room covered in perfect hexagonal tiles which is kind of strange for the sewers, but that's what you guys find on the floor. This feels like a trap. It always feels like a trap. I threw another rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you throw it forward, roll a d20. Eight. You throw the rock and it just clatters to the floor and slides across the this strange tile that's uncharacteristic for the sewers. I throw another rock. Okay, it similarly clatters. Okay, that's all I got, guys. Uh, Did the... Do the tiles look like they have some sort of pattern to them, or are they just there? Um, I mean, they look nice. Lou takes his buckler and slides it across the floor. It slides uh, a little bit of the ways, and you find the, the tiles. A beam of light shoot up and, like, knock the buckler up and flipping through the air to clattering to the floor. Okay. <laughs> is that when it made contact with the, the tile? With the tiles, yeah. And okay. you see, like, the entire room isn't made of the tiles. It's kind of the more of, like the inner part of the room. Like there's a bit of a uh, room around just next to the walls that you could walk by. Are we trying to go east or south from here, guys? West. We can't go west from this room. Knock down this wall. So are we trying to go to 82? Yeah. Is that our next? I think so. Okay, Jax, Jax is gonna shimmy around the room and then head to the doorway of 82 without stepping on any of the tiles. Or just peering in? Uh, Yeah, I'll check for traps in there. Uh, ooh, ooh. Needs his buckler back. <laughs> it landed kind of on the outskirts of the tile. Okay, so he's gonna shimmy around the tiles. Go grab it. Okay, you grab, you snatch it up easily enough. Cool. That how you get the traps. You guys walk into this next room, and are you guys stealthing? Honestly, probably not. <laughs> Especially with the you know throwing a buckler and it clanging against the ceiling <laughs> of the floors. And... <laughs> yeah. So one person can go ahead and roll d8. Feels lucky. We rolled that last roll. Don't do that again. <laughs> we'll roll a d8. I feel, I feel good. I don't know if that was good or not. So go ahead and roll one more d8. All right, that's good. Can't tell if that's good for us or good for not us. <laughs> you guys kind of walk into your room, and you quickly find two snarling hellhounds looking at you guys. Ooh. Go ahead and roll um, that shit. Okay. Ignitative. Do these hellhounds around. look any different from the other ones? Yeah, you look at them and it's pretty obvious. They are glowing very brightly. Okay. It's not like fire, it's like white light. White light. So, Peter is 24. 
24 what? That's your initiative you rolled, right? Oh shit, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> what did Malgan roll? Am I, am I supposed to be on top of this railing? No. no. You're just partying, man. Hell yeah. What did Malgan roll? What? Nothing. I, I didn't take a dump. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Was everything <laughs> successful? <laughs> but yeah. Roll, uh, roll initiative, bro. Roll a constitution save. See so yeah, how your dump went. Three. Oh, plus negative one, so two. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Colin. I, like I rolled four. Yeah, that was constitution? Initiative. Initiative, okay. No. Yeah. Did I roll? Is that right? That is right. Okay. That sucky bus is still alive. <laughs> ah! What was your guys' uh, I probably should have asked before. What, what was your guys' marching? Well, Matt Jax was first because he peeked in. Yeah. Then besides that, what was your guys' like marching order? Uh, Sounds to me like Lou was second, because Lou is the second one to move. Falcon's going through some shit, so he's taking up for the rear. I guess that. Uh, it's me third. Stand behind me. These people will fall. People? These are animals. Beasts, okay. if you will. First up is Lou. As you guys kind of like walk into this room, you see two albino looking, like brightly glowing hellhounds. Lou steps ahead of Jax and casts Thunder Wave. Yes, for once you can cast without hitting me. <laughs> okay, let's upcast that a little bit to cast that. Let's do level three. It's a DC 15 save. Oh, I got a one and a five. And so they rolled a 14, so they failed. Aha! So they take 15 damage and also, oh, what's this specialness? They get pushed back, right? Push back 10 feet. You just yoink them into the water. <laughs> That's Bye-bye. the plan. Emboldened by the party's previous victories, this goes up and does like a like a, like a Hulk clap, and a a a wave bursts from his hands, knocking back the two hounds as they like yip in, in pain and surprise. But unlike previously, as they splash into the water, previously you saw them like like water evaporating and like hissing, as like they're molten forms were being cooled. Um, that is not happening with, with these these guys. They seem relatively unperturbed by the water. Well, at least they're cool now. <laughs> well, I'm not going in there. Um, <laughs> so that's your action. Right, well, you have a secondary action and your movement. Yeah. Lou is going to step behind Jax <laughs> and inspire him. You can do it. So Jax has a part of inspiration. Cool. To Jax. All right, Jax is not going to move. <laughs> You're gonna hunker down. Yeah, primary action dodge. Uh, secondary action hunker down. Okay. What is hunker down? It's because my uh, shield. I get plus two AC. It's homebrew. Out. Oh. Stay <laughs> behind me. <laughs> Disadvantage to hit you and a plus two to your AC. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. And plus two to somebody behind him. AC. No, just him. <laughs> so is that your turn? Yep. To Ophelia. Okay. I want to use speak with animals. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Wait, let me check one thing. For... This is the first time we'll get to know what they're thinking. <laughs> food, food, food. Take, food. I want to take an introspective look into the mind of a hellhound. <laughs> food, 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 okay. uh, food. Go ahead and roll an arcana check before you do that. Just free. Okay. Um, you look upon these hellhounds and you remember reading and some books during your time with Eilis that hellhounds are not animals. They're considered fiends. Oh, but it says with beasts. They're not beasts, they're fiends. Okay, dang, that was my plan. Uh, okay, where are we? We are right there. And of course, as always, everybody is very close to me. So that limits what I can do. Sure. Um, I should have reminded you guys that you guys can change your spells after a long rest. They're not animals. They're not animals. Oh, I can't make them my friends. <laughs> I, already, um, I already zapped them into the water. They're probably not going to want to talk to us after that. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I, okay, I'll just hold. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll throw throw flame at them using produce flame. Okay, you don't have a line of sight, do, so do you want to hold it? I don't have a line of sight? They're in the water right now. Hello, us. I can't see them in the water? No, you're pretty far back. Okay, then I'll hold it. Okay. Hold it, it for when they get out of the water? Yes. Okay. Um, they will use... Incoming. Build and verbalize. It will use... <laughs> <laughs> it's 
gonna run up to Jax. <laughs> you have dodge and. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're, just, they're dumb dogs. They wouldn't. They're just gonna attack you. Good luck. <laughs> uh, two. So no. No. <laughs> no. They, they have one attack. Okay. Yeah, he's done. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> the other one will jump out of the water like an angel and dash forward. And it's going to, it's like enraged by being pushed back into water. It doesn't like being wet. It's going no to use way. its radiant breath attack. Is it like a breath weapon? Yep. Are these dragonborns? They're dogborn. Dogborn. <laughs> That's going to get Jax and Blue, but ju uh, Malgan's just barely out of it. Yeah, Malgan's out of it. <laughs> oh, I like. <laughs> Malgan's is like, nope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so each creature that is in the area must make a DC 12 dexterity saving throw. Gotcha. I win. 16, uh, so you make it. I definitely win. <laughs> yeah, you both are good. So you're both going to take half damage from this. It's 66. Wow. It is how much? 66? Nine. <laughs> wow. It's all twos and ones. So you guys take um, four damage. <laughs> As it, 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 it jumps out of the water like a, a, a gracious creature and just spits radiant energy all over you but it it is does a little like most of your shield your shield mostly just absorbs it and like shunts the, the breath attack to each side uh to malgan uh malgan casts um resistance which um target can roll a d4 and add uh the number to one saving throw of its choice to jacks just because he's slightly in front of um lou touch so I have to run up to him and touch him and give him a little caress <laughs> while I while I brother I actually run back to where I was and um, it's two actions right can I cast um, sacred flame it's a cantrip yeah if it's a cantrip yeah cool um, I cast that on uh, the one that's um, the one that casts the radiant thing deck save of 14 I rolled a nine for damage, and I think it's he rolled yeah. A... I pass and it... Oh, okay, cool. So you rolled a five. Nine. nine damage. Yeah. And Hannah, you had a held action, right? Yes. So do you want to do that on? It would be this guy because he came out of the water first. Yes, I'd like to throw flames at him. Go for it. Okay. Do you have any other elements? <laughs> water. That would work. Well. No. These aren't flame no. based. I feel like what Malgan did there was so like almost comical. Like they just like ran up like huh, and then just turned around, ran back, and then <laughs> cast it. Hey, you're it. Hey, you're it. I rolled a thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Yeah, you, you go to throw it, and you, it just goes wide, just barely soars uh -huh. right past it, and it snarls back at you. Golden radiance like seeping from its maw a little bit. Golden radiance. What the? What element are these guys? Uh, to Lou. Radiant element? Yeah. Um Boo is going to step back and then he's going to draw his blade. Use vicious mockery on this one. So it's a wisdom save. What are you saying to mock them? Yeah. Hey bitch! <laughs> <laughs> So they roll a 13 that feel. So they take full damage? Is that how it works? Yeah, so it takes three damage and have disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes before the end of its next turn. And you, you pulled out your sword, right? Yeah, and ignited it. So I think that's your both your action. The Jax. First action I'm gonna attack the one that Lou just mocked. So twenty two to hit, yeah. So the first one hit. Second action I'm gonna hunker down again. You, you kind of just like tilt your shield to one side, quickly like throw out two hits and bash him in the head with one. Wiggles his head, like confused and kind of surprised at you for a moment before snarling back at you again, but only for you to raise your shield back up and to feel you. Can I roll to learn about, or to like see if I know anything about like what counters radiance? Yeah, if you want to use your secondary action to roll a arcana. Okay. Hmm. I guess I don't know anything. Mm, yeah. Kind of outside of your real health, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna use Eldritch Blast on the dog. So I rolled a 20. Yeah, it hits. So I'm gonna roll the second one too, just see if that hits too. Okay. The second one barely misses. So go ahead and roll damage for the first one. Seven. Cool. Seven damage. And you're doing it all on this guy? Yes. 
just focusing. Guys are just focusing down at one guy. Decent plan. <laughs> yeah, you, he was you, mocked. <laughs> he's mocked. Uh, you go, you turn and quickly uh, cast your spells after trying to kind of figure something out about them. And your first one strikes hard as this uh, blood, as this hellhound is like looking really messed up with wounds all over. And you see this like glowing blood seeping from its wounds as it's barely stand, keeping on its feet. Um, I'm gonna get off with them. <laughs> but this guy has disadvantage to hit you. Uh, but he has, still has his breath weapon. He's gonna do that. You guys backed up. <laughs> no way. What? That's not allowed. Uh, so Jax needs to make a EC 12 How? dexterity. I'm thinking to use his breath weapon. But... It's on a recharge. Uh, Jax rolls a 12. 12. He meets it, beats it, so yeah, half damage. As you suffer half of 66. 17, so that would be uh, 8 damage. Almost as much as the other one rolled, but I took the full thing. Okay, that's his turn. Back to this guy, let's see if he gets his breath weapon back. He does not, he's going to try to bite you. And you're hunkered down, but you're not dodging, right? Correct. I will not hit. <laughs> I feel like hunkering down and dodging can as counter to <laughs> Yeah, I might nerf that. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> What's like, what are you doing, like crouching and hopping like Mario? <laughs> like, I'm just like, I'm eyeing it with my shield and just yeah. putting my shield where its mouth is. Yeah. He's actively blocking. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's a, what's your, I think that was a 14 hit. I think that would be hey, he's 20 while I'm hunkered down. <laughs> yeah, he jumps forward and tries to like snap at you, but just gets a, a jaw full of shield. That'll be his turn to Malgan. Malgin. I just cast Sacred Flame twice, if I'm being honest. And the one that he hit before. And uh, assuming they're successful, the first one was 8 and the second one was 13. 8 and 13. Yeah. They both miss. Damn. These guys are tough. Are you going to move? Uh, nope. To Lou. Lou is going to turn around and cast Shatter. Each creature 10 foot range. So, you know, you, you know how it goes somewhere out here. So, yeah. Jax is going to get hit. Yeah. Um, yeah, Shatter. Pew at level 2, BC 15 and 12 feet. Ha! Pull a 9. Yeah, I don't make it. <laughs> they both take 12? Yep. Nice. Yep, 3d8. Um, yeah, so this one, as it gets hit by a Shatter, you see its body, like, burst apart from the, the, the explosion of, of energy. Nice. Um, glowing blood splatters everywhere. Does that like do anything to me? Yeah, that's what to say. Block it with your shield, Jax. You're uh, glowy now. <laughs> I think. Yes, I'm fluorescent. That was my dream. <laughs> <laughs> um, and if we're allowed to, I'll just do vicious mockery on the other one. That's a cantrip? Yeah. Go for it. Hey, doggy, doggy, doggy. Try and get me. So vicious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you couldn't choose for a bone even if you tried. Right. Uh -huh. What did that hit? What did that roll? The wisdom Ten. save. Yeah, he doesn't make it. Ha <laughs> So, uh, three four, damage. four damage. And it's advantage on his next attack. See, so he like lowers his head a little ashamed. <laughs> I could chew through a bone. <laughs> uh, so that's your turn? Mm hmm. Alright, to Jax. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna. Jax is feeling bold. He's gonna attack with both his actions. Alright, go for it. Alright, first two. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. So that's okay. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> yeah, you like kind of move your shield. Do you want to describe how you kill it? I come out from under my shield and I do like a little twirl with my sword and then I chop its head off. I'm assuming I killed it, right? Yeah, <laughs> its head <laughs> like cleanly flies off. Aren't you really a mall? Oh, yeah. I like bludgeon its head off then. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, a, like a baseball bat. Cut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, just like cartwheels backwards and flops. Flops on moving. That concludes combat. Much more efficient than last time. As more like brightly glowing blood splatters all over the place. As it slowly dims as oh. they die. Ooh, like three torches. I was gonna say, do I need to like wash myself off if we're gonna try and be stealthy? <laughs> I do I wash off in the sewer water. Combat has concluded, and you have fought a strain of hellhound you have not encountered before. My God. How is everything? Does anybody know what was up with those? I've never seen that before. They're probably radiant element hellhounds. Radiant element? What, what would you use to counteract that? Darkness? 
Hmm, okay. I actually don't know. Yeah, can roll something if you want. Oh, my sword was pretty effective. Uh, I'm... Yeah, you don't... What, what my sword? mace was pretty effective. <laughs> I'm all <laughs> pretty effective. <laughs> um, let's say animal handling. Uh, or, let's say arcana. Arcana? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They're not animals. <laughs> yeah, we established already. Lou enough. just knows that they are shiny. Yeah. Therefore, things that dim light, so like a blanket, maybe? <laughs> yeah, if someone wants to roll Arcana or Survival, but not Lou, because he already rolled. I'll roll Survival. Damn, Jax has got some hot dice tonight. You look, kind of walk over to them, and you look over this, like, albino alterations compared to what we've seen before, with brightly glowing blood instead of, like, what before it looked like more like lava as blood. Um, you look down over them, they seem like yes radiant and probably the thing to counter that would be uh necrotic ah uh, i forgot if Jax would know how to communicate that because he's not very smart when it comes to magic dark thing make light not light hey ophelia has necrotic damage Jax points to ophelia and says uh uh <laughs> he says uh, uh remember the spell you used that gave you visions that you didn't like yeah that's how we beat those dogs Okay. Mm, thanks for letting me know. I will think on that. And, uh, use it sparingly because it looked very good. Yeah, not a fan. I am, uh, I am more than happy to, uh, chop their heads off for you. Thanks, Jax. And you there, I, I would prefer that over my spells. Thank sure. you for your inspiring touch. <laughs> of course. I did not use it, but it felt good. <laughs> felt like good touch? Yeah, I needed it, that's for sure. You got Melvin's good touch. <laughs> uh, what does Malgan think about the magic Ophelia used in the previous fight? So, Malgan's in a little bit of a state. I don't know if anyone's caught on to that right now, but <laughs> Malgan is kind of going through something right now. He's kind of having a little bit of a crisis. So, I don't think that he's necessarily paying too close attention to anything that's happening. Okay. Malgan, buddy, what's going on with you, man? And are you actually talking to Malgan? Sure. Do you actually care about Melvin? Yeah. He's my, uh, my, my dad, not dad, like, not at all dad. Is he younger than you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm much older than him. I'm like 260. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. He's, he's like the dad I never asked for. The second twin. Uh, Malvin just says, pay, pay no mind to me. That we makes me pay more mind to you. We simply need to complete this. Let's continue. Why should I not pay no mind to you? Because my troubles are not worth it. They're not as important as the task ahead. Let's continue. That sounds concerning. Malgan just grunts. He's, be he's being like a, like, a, you know, your typical like teenager who doesn't want to talk about it. Yeah, I've never heard Malgan this quiet. Going through something, man. Ariel wouldn't approve. Oh, that was a cool blow. Uh, yeah, Malgan, Malgan's kind of thinking about it by that one. You want to live your life happily. <laughs> Let us continue. He's like angry now. This is mostly because I'm still trying to figure out exactly what Malgan <laughs> would say. <laughs> so I'm, re I'm like, I'm not retconning, but uh, yeah. what's the term when you're Delaying. like, yeah. Shall we move on to room 82? Yeah. Ophelia is very nervous. <laughs> she well, has had uh, Yeah, check for traps. Yeah, I was gonna say I'll do that. Yeah. Well, investigation. Got the hot dice. I'm assuming that's probably gonna end, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. not great. Can we give advantage to that or no? Can I use my yeah. bard inspiration on it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Might as well give an assist. So roll again? Yeah. Can I use my bardic inspiration on it? Yeah, you want. I can, the dice. I can guidance too. <laughs> Just stacking. A one D four. Uh, is it a D six on the bardic? I think it's higher. Uh, my bardic inspiration is currently eight. So uh, we'll leave it at that. Go with the fifteen. Yeah. Okay. You look around and you kind of feel the for the balls and look at the floors, and you don't find anything suspicious. It's clear. The room explodes. <laughs> no, not again. I mean, we already know that Jax does not have an affinity for spotting explosives. 
after the house incident. Okay, you walk into this room and uh, it's fairly uneventful. You see some uh, tracks from the hellhounds of like scratch marks and, and, you know, similar like leftovers from what Ophelia found before, like some ice, some some melted stone, some green uh, liquid. But yeah, it's uh, not a whole lot going on in this room. Whoa. You heading down? You guys can use translocator? Yes. There. Yes. Okay, I can use it. Ooh, okay. Lou's gonna give you a bardic inspiration. Oh, okay. You can read the signs! Hey! hey. Okay, so 16 total. Um, hey. You kind of feel un- not super confident in your abilities for a moment before Lou kind of strums a happy little tune and you feel your focus come back to you and then the mercury in the glass ball formulates into a needle po- pointing westward. Ooh, all right, guys, let's go. My orientation is bad. Let's go to the west. Mm-hmm. The left. Let's go to the left. So you're going to roll room 81. The west. All right, Jax, are you going to check it out? Yeah, I'll check for traps. Out of curiosity, does anybody have any better bonuses? No, no offense, Jax. Got to, got to, got to question that. I rolled a nat 20, so you can shut up. All right, nat that's 20. <laughs> <laughs> I know when to shut up. Uh, in all seriousness, I only have a plus one, so someone probably has better investigation than me. Uh, I just figured that if someone was going to accidentally trigger a trap, it might be the one that has the uh, tankiest. You guys walk in, and Jax finds no traps. But what he does notice <sighs> is a, a sulfur smell, and kind of like your vision's kind of wavy, like a hot day. Oh boy. That's There's like gas in here. Several pipes are running overhead. And even like see one is a bit cracked. We might need to get through this room quickly. Or we could just ignite the gas before going. Oh, in. what? If you ignite the gas, it could destroy the whole sewer. Well, that's just silly. There's gonna be hellhounds that are on fire. There's gonna be us on fire. Do what you must, but I'm going to sprint the other direction if you do that. Luke has suggestion on Jax too. <laughs> <laughs> No. Um, <laughs> if you want to waste a spell slot, go for it. Yeah, no. I, I, I don't know. I feel like, you know, we could prob- probably not make it explode. Just, you know. Just hold your breath. What? All right. Hold your breath and run through. All right. Let's get through it as quick as possible. Actually, I'm gonna, Lou, Lou's going to let Jax try that first. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's your idea. Can I make out any doorways? Uh, yeah, you kind of peer in. You see two across the room and then one uh, still across the room, kind of more on the northern side of the, the room. And Which one, one should I go room. for? Uh, Let's, keep going west. Jax is going to make a dead sprint for uh, this doorway, the one to 80. Wait, are we in 80? Uh, holding his breath the whole way. We just went through the doorway to 89, right? Yeah. Okay. And you're sprinting yeah. to the, the doorway that goes to 80. Yeah. I'm going to hold my, I'm gonna hold my breath and sprint to the door. Yeah. Lou is not standing in the door frame. And since I'm focused on not choking, I'm not also not checking for traps in this room. You managed to run across without issue. Oh. I'm good. Okay, Ophelia goes next. You hold your breath? Yes. Okay, you hold your breath and you run through. Go ahead and roll athletics. Oh no. <laughs> My dangly limbs. Your athletics is a lot lower than Jax's. Yeah, it's not good. I'm a track yeah. star. Okay, yeah, you you t- you run through and you uh, manage to not trip on him. All right. Jack's making tracks. You're so I'll dominant. Let, I'll let Lou go next. <laughs> oh boy, Lou is going to hold his breath and with his amazing lung capacity, walk with intent but not sprint through the room. Okay, go ahead and still roll an athletic. You power walk through the room with intent. <laughs> Um, but it seems you're a little too focused on the, the the finish line and not on the race as your foot gets caught in kind of this um, um, raised piece of brake and you uh, manage to trip and your boot seems to be stuck. Melgan sprints, grabs Lou and runs to the other side. Okay, go ahead and roll for athletics. What'd you roll? An eight. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you run in and you try to get like a, a firm grip on Lou, but you're just you're moving a little too fast and your your armor's heavy and you you kind of stumble forward a bit, not not really like landing 
Um, and Lou is still stuck. Okay, I um, cast Jack. a stone shape and then make a like circle around us so that we can breathe. Jax will run in and try and save Lou. Okay, go ahead and roll that. I got you, Lou. Jax runs in. He is able to, while holding his breath, is quickly able to undo the thing that's snagging Lou's boot and is able to get him to his feet. Run! Or wait, I'm, I'm holding my breath. Yeah. I'm going to say that. <laughs> and Lou continues to walk with purpose up the door. <laughs> you can do the power walk. You all, fortunately, you did it all so quickly that you all are all are within your uh, time to hold your breath easily. And you managed to pass through the room. No problem. Thank you, fellas. Don't thank me. I, I didn't do anything. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> Malgan's going to be going through a depressed phase, boys. <laughs> <laughs> if one of wants to roll a d20. Not me this time. I can do it this time. I got an 11. Okay, you guys enter the room. You manage to not run into any yellow. Hey. Uh, so, well, in the end of the session there, uh, you guys have managed to avoid a lot of combat. So. We did? I mean, yeah, your rolls were pretty good. <laughs>